We begin the 430 half hour with the CBS2 investigation. We are digging into the mysterious death at the Kankakee County Detention Center. The family of a 32 year old Chicago man tells us he was sent to Combs Detention Center two weeks ago and inexplicably died on Friday. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is live for us. And Megan, we understand the signs at this point point to dehydration. Right, Jim and Marie, we don't have an official cause of death pending toxicology, but the family was told that that main issue was swelling on the brain caused by severe dehydration, and now they want an independent investigation into exactly how that happened. I said, I'm going to fight for you, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight for you. I need answers. 32 year old Dwayne Tucker comes from a big supportive family in the south suburbs. They say he they know he was not perfect. He was charged in federal court with robbing a PNC bank on Rush Street of about $1,200 back in January. They tell me he was transferred to Jerome Combs Detention Center in Kankakee about two weeks ago. Then on Wednesday, they got a call that he was hospitalized. ER staff told the family he was severely dehydrated, causing massive brain swelling. The family Family said he also had cuts and bruises on his body. By Friday morning, he had no brain activity and was pronounced dead. The family tells us he has no medical history of dehydration issues or renal failure and that they have gotten no answers from Kankakee County or the U.S. Marshal's Office about how this happened. They worry he was neglected while in custody. He left our house in good health and strength. Two weeks later, he did. I don't care if it's an inmate or it's a regular person on the street. Nobody deserves to die. Now we reached out to Kankakee County and the U.S. Marshals Service for any sort of comment on this case. We're still waiting to hear back from both. We'll have much more coming up tonight at 6 on CBS2. Live in the Loop, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.